So let's talk if um, a little bit about the different attachment styles, because I'm sure people are like, what are you talking, what is, what, what attachment Please. styles? Who am yeah. I? Like, what does this look like? And before I get into the attachment styles, I want to let people know that our attachment styles are on a continuum. The more we become aware of how we parent and our own stuff and our own attachment styles, that we can change that. And because our, you know, children's brains are constantly evolving and changing and there's a level of plasticity. And so even if you're like, oh my God, my child, you know, has these adaptive strategies that look like avoidant, is that bad? No, you can then take this information, read more about it in my book and make um, changes to help your child feel more secure. So it's about feeling empowered with information and awareness. So there are three main attachment styles that um, I talk about in my book. Um, there is avoidant, ambivalent, and secure. So if a child has avoidant attachment style, perhaps they have a caregiver who is not very um, present to their emotional needs. Maybe the parent is more dismissive or is punitive if they have an emotion like, you know, go to your room, you know, don't be a crybaby or, you know, suck it up. You're, the child's going to learn that their needs are not valuable or important or not seen. They're going to take that as a rejection. And so they're going to internalize, like, I can't, you know, rely on my caregiver to meet my needs. So I got to meet them myself. So they start to have this sort of sense of I'm fine. I don't need anybody. Um, so, and then they take that into their adult lives. They become very over-focused on themselves, um, focus on one thing at a time. They um, have a difficult time in expressing their emotions and their needs. They don't connect very well because they didn't have that. You know, they didn't have a touchy-feely um, parent, perhaps. You know, they didn't feel that sense of being seen in their emotional world. Um you know, maybe their parent was present to them in teaching them things such as how to ride a bike or how to read, but their parent really wasn't present in who are you? How are you feeling? You know, and that's really important for a child to develop their own sense of worthiness. Um, so, you know, as an adult, this you know, person with avoidant attachment style may struggle with that connection and being able to express their needs. And that's how that looks in a child. Let me just keep it like that. Someone with um, avoidant attachment style, um, the child may have a caregiver who was more inconsistent in their parenting style. Maybe they were present, sometimes they weren't. Maybe the parent was more preoccupied with their own needs and their own um, um, emotions. Maybe this parent was kind of intrusive, you know, in different ways. And so the child, even in those moments of connection, feels a lot of anxiety because they're anticipating when the disconnection is going to happen. And so they may be harder to soothe. Um, they may put their emotions on blast, you know, and, and uh, as a way of getting the parent to pay attention to them. Um, they may learn that they have to caretake their parent because maybe the parent puts them in roles of being a therapist or, you know, a confidant, which shouldn't be theirs, you know. And so they take that into their futures and become over accommodators. Maybe they, be, they are more clingy and need a lot of external validation, need a lot of reassurances. Um, and then there's the child with secure attachment which is a child who feels that sense of, I can rely and count on my parent to be there when I need them. They internalize their parents inside. So they feel the sense of confidence that they are innately worthy of love. They're not anticipating any sense of rejection or abandonment. They know that their needs will be met in an appropriate amount of time. And if for some reason the parent can't, there's repair. So that they also are like, okay, my parents going to repair with me. We can reestablish the connection. All is good. So they get soothed more easily. They develop this healthy sense of inner confidence. They can develop, you know, healthy relationships with peers. They are more adaptable and flexible to adversity, to situations that are difficult, to crises, right? Such as a separation or a divorce of their parents, um, because they know that they have both parents. They know that they can count on their parent to be there and to see them and to hold space and meet their needs. So that's why it's really important for a child to have secure attachment so that they can really weather these storms with more ease and calm.